So yeah, I'm, I'm super interested in, in, in how you progress. Cause like I, all I can think about is, is how I create content. And this is one thing I'm learning when I'm talking to everybody is that it's almost the same thing where you are, are thinking of something, how to do it, but then how to get it to the audience and how they can learn or entertainment or whatever it is, what way can I make it happen? So like when, when I would say, let's say I do a first ride, I'm just going to ride and I have a 360 camera and then my GoPro. But then you're like, well, nobody has a car up front with a nice camera. And then how about I add in some more motion graphics? So like these little itty bitty things, like 10 itty bitty things makes this huge package. Right. And that's what I like said I noticed from you is that you had those graphics. I'm like, man, nobody's... I, I know what, how long that takes for me to do, mm-hmm. and that's why I don't do it because, like, I suck at it. <laughs> right. And I'm like, man, that I appreciate that. Um, so as when I mentioned the, the viewer, like, do they ever notice that stuff? Because I notice it. Um, right. And I'm assuming some of your viewers notice the transition from just normal, like, point and shoot to high production value. Um, right. Do you... And I, and I, this is how I talk. I throw out a bunch of questions, so don't worry about not answering all of them. Um. Don't worry, dude. I'll ramble forever. Don't worry. Yeah, just, no, just ring me back in. Just that's be like, the, okay, I love the it. question was. <laughs> I'd love it. Is, uh, that's, why, that's why we have a podcast here, so we can just talk. Right. Um, the main thing that I was trying to get at is that uh, a lot of my creativity and, and how I do things is, is dependent on, is anybody else doing that? Is anybody right. else talking about this? I want to find the niche. I want to find out what I'm known for. Um, but then I also want to deliver it in a way where it's helpful to somebody. So how do I do this? I'm always asking myself how, right. um, is that something no, that, that you kind of go in your head? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, uh, with first ride specifically, I feel, it, it, I kind of feel like, I think I was talking to my wife about this the other day. I feel an obligation to give people as much, uh, I try to do everything they could possibly want in a first ride. So mm-hmm. when it started out, um, it was just, it, like you said, it was like a moto vlog. It's like, hey, today yeah. I'm going to be riding an FZ6R. I'm going to ride it around for 20 minutes, and I'm going to tell you guys how I think about it. And then by constantly doing them and having that part of my brain that constantly yeah. wants it to be better, first rides is a show that is entirely driven on making the best type of content that I can for the people watching it. So, and that's the most popular thing. So that is what I'm thinking about. So it was, okay, I'll write it around so people know, you know, what I feel about it. So then it's, okay, well, if somebody is in, this is the way I, my thought process. Oh, I love it. it was. I'm, I'm, I'm following along. Don't worry. <laughs> so like my thought process is, like, okay, if my name's John and I walk into Mountain Motorsports and I got the cash. I'm ready to go, and I want to get a Ducati 959. I keep saying 959 because that's, that's the bike I have to deal with all the time. So that's <laughs> that's what's in my head. If you can't tell, um, so my name is John. I'm walking into Mountain Motorsports. I want to go ride that bike. I want to know how it rides. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around that bike and look all over it because bikes look good yeah. the majority of the time. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. So how can I simulate that in a video? So, okay, I'll, I'll get a slider and I'll do these long slides so people can, you know, get a little bit of motion because I'm, I'm not really a big fan of just like tripod yeah. type shot. Um, so I was like, person typically going to look around a bike before they go for a ride. Then um, we started adding in the motion graphics for... I, I played around with like, it has this much horsepower and it's this size engine and we've kind of shied away from that because it's not the type of video. Like, did, did you feel like that was you though? I mean, like for me, I tried that too. And I'm like, man, I don't know any of this shit. Why am I saying it? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. But like if, so being John, like if I go into a dealership, that information's not sitting on a motorcycle. Yeah. If I want to look that up, I'll go watch an info video about this bike. So yeah. I look the way I process that content is it's totally different from what a first start is. Um, something within the last year or so that we added was the sound check. So now oh. if like that is super important, right? Be like how good my bike sound. Yeah. So yeah. We, we roll the bikes out into the front of mountain. I, you know, I got a nice microphone. I put it at the exhaust and I don't do a flyby yet, but I just sit there and rev the bike up. Cause if you're at a bike night and somebody's like, Oh shit, you got a Ducati nine five nine. What's that exhaust sound like? Yeah. You're going to crank it up, going to put it in neutral and you're going to rev it up. So 
we added that. And then um, I think the the follow car one I am infatuated with follow car shots, so I yeah, think that's cool. the coolest shit ever. Yeah, they look and cool. I had no appreciation for how much work it took to get high speed, high quality, stable footage. Yeah. Like, fuck if that ain't hard. But I digress. My thought process was, okay, let's be real, (laughs) right? We're motorcyclists. We give Uh a shit what our bike looks like. Yeah. And even more so, we give a shit about what we look like riding the motorcycle. Yep. So I want to know what that Camry thinks of how cool I look with my helmet that matches my jacket, that matches my motorcycle. Yeah. So um, that was kind of like, okay, if we set all this up, if I go down this path of camera car stuff, at least that'll let the person watching the video know Hey, if you get this bike, this is what you're going to look like riding down yeah. the road. When you're on the highway tucked in and trying to get all the wind over you, this is what you're going to look like. So you're Are you going to be into, cramped up looking? <laughs> you're playing into people's vanity. That's perfect. I mean, it is what it is, man. <laughs> yeah, like if is. people if people want to admit it or not, like you m- the majority of people give a shit of what their bike looks like and what they look like and that's why you buy accessories for your bike. That's why that's why Icon is as big of a fucking company as it is they because have they know stuff, yeah. they know that their shit looks good and people want to look good with their motorcycles. Yeah. So like it is what it is. If yeah. people want to admit it or not, that's fine. Well, and, and YouTube's a visual medium, so I mean obviously you play into right. the visuals of it. So yeah. Right. So that was the <laughs> that was my um reasoning for going down this path of like Let's do a camera car with it. So then all we do is we go out, we film a first ride. I have a route that I always go around. And then I do that route once with the GoPro by myself. Mm -hmm. Get back, set the camera car up, and then I follow the camera car around the exact same route. And that way, if if I cut the camera car footage, not only does it give that viewer a view of what they look like, but secret tip, it lets me cut footage and you have no clue there's cuts. It, yep. You think you're riding that entire route with me. Little do you know, there's a hundred little sushi cuts all the way through that video. I understand that feeling, man. I, I When yep. I screw up my, my vocals or whatever, my face cam and my 360, it's a cut. But then if you look closely, you'll notice that I'm not in the same area exactly. Yes, right exactly. After that. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's camera it, magic. And, and not that, yeah, camera <laughs> magic. <laughs> you see nothing. <laughs> um, but that was, that uh yeah, Star it, Wars, I I get it. I got it. Bro, I I've, I've been <laughs> like so into Star Wars ever since my wife and I did a Disney half marathon recently and oh, we I did, then I went did that to, a couple years ago. That's really fun. Yeah. That's awesome. We did was uh Galaxy's Edge at uh Disney World no, or not, you, Disney World or Disney I did Disneyland, it was the Tinkerbell half marathon. <laughs> my um, man, absolutely. Yeah, it, was, it was cool, man. I got to run behind all the sets and saw all the animals behind right. the sets. It, it was it was cool. Anyways, I'm sorry, I got I, I distracted you from no, Disneyland. No, no, see I'm I was saying <laughs> I'm all into Star Wars because we went to Galaxy's Edge and I'm like, bro, I have a new respect for Star Wars. Holy shit. So I'm all like, so many jokes recently when we've we've been filming with the guys. I'm like, you did not hear me say that. (laughs) (laughs) They're probably sick of it at this point, but... um, Do you you get ideas? Do you get ideas from other uh, other things? Like uh, like you went to Galaxy's Edge and you're like, man, that would look... I like how this set is set up. I like the lights. I like this. Um, Do you ever think like that? I mean, there's, that's a problem I have is like, (laughs) because like right now I'm in a, I'm in a very privileged spot where my video, my channel would be fine if I literally just stuck to wreck bike rebuild and first rides. Yeah. There is no need to do anything else. My, I would fill my time up and I would like all the people that are already subscribed have plenty of content and the people looking for content would have plenty of content, but like I'm always like coming up with ideas for stuff, but I'm trying to be very active in enjoying the the process of having an idea mm-hmm. and knowing that I have no obligation to need to do that. Cause okay. like I have a, um, the thing uh, my wife tells me is like, I, I try to make a business out of everything. Yeah. Uh, and damn, you and I think a lot alike. I, yeah. I mean, cause like I, but I'm interested in that. I, yeah. I honestly have a good time of like, uh, seeing anything and this is not motorcycle related this is literally anything on the planet i'm like man that would be i I start thinking about instagram strategies for a charcuterie board business (laughs) like that is that is no joke you can ask my Uh, wife like we were literally having a conversation of like 
Yeah, if you had a charcuterie company business, you could do stuff like this and like, I don't know. I find it, I, I enjoy doing that. So that's just, it's just the way my brain works. So <laughs> it is what it is. It happens.